All right, me and Paul are gonna take a look at some trailers. Yeah, some tra- whatever whatever trailers are coming out. Uh, this the new this is a new Kingsman trailer. Pre- what is that? Prequel to the two Kingsman movies. Oh, that's the Kingsman. Okay, it's about the origin of uh, the Kingsman society or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, it's got Ray Fiennes in it. Yeah, cool. Let's take a look. Go full. This will not be bitch. a war of heroes. Which is all to see. This is going to be fun. <laughs> That's kind of rude, making their logo a thing that colorblind people can't fucking see. Yeah, I agree. Like, they literally made the colorblindness test their fucking logo. Yeah. That's... A bunch of people in the theater are like, what does that say? <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe they think uh, colorblind people will come to see it to, to reveal the secret. Yeah. You want to know what this says? We will reveal the secret. I'm going to do some adjustments to this thing really quick. Ugh. All right. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll, that'll do it. Okay. So, let's, back to this, I guess. The world burns. You have no idea of what men are capable of. We must do something. I know you want to fight. Black versus white. This looks impossibly boring. Yeah. Like it really looks like they're trying. This but dude, music but hey, wait a reeks minute. of trying hard. There's a fuck. There's a, yeah, there's suspenseful music. How can you possibly it's say it's boring? It's not suspenseful. This is dun, like. Dun, 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 dun. Like, we're supposed to be looking at the most, you know, like, edge of your seat thrill right now. And this movie is just not bringing it. What are you talking about? It's not bringing it. It's bringing it, Paul. You haven't even. You've only watched 30 seconds of this trailer. Okay. There's Fair interracial enough. combat. That doesn't do nothing for you no more? <laughs> Not the way it used to. <laughs> you know? But there are other ways of doing your duty. You're going to need a suit. <laughs> so they, they're they remaking the fucking first Kingsman, but yeah, in the that's past? That's what it looks like, yeah. Because that kind of seems like what I'm getting so far. Yep. Come on. We are the first independent intelligence agency. Preserving peace. And protecting life. Welcome to the club. Generals gathered in their ma- You haven't earned that song. No, 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 no. Nothing about this trailer has earned this song. <laughs> you haven't earned that at all. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like- bitches in their rasses. Is that Rasputin? Yeah, I think it is. Oh. Witches at- I mean, who else would that fucking be? <laughs> yeah, that's Rasputin, right? It's got to be. If it isn't, this movie is Black even masses. worse than I thought. While governments wait for orders, our people take action. I hope Rasputin is the main villain and not just a cameo. That'd be cool. Sorcerer of death's construction. Oh, mighty. Hell yeah. Rasputin. Okay, maybe Uh, I'll go see it just to see Rasputin. Yeah, that's the only element of this trailer that has me kind of intrigued, because I like Rasputin. I I honestly don't know why he hasn't been more prevalent in movies and shit. I want to see him as the hero. They always cast him as the villain. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him a few times as the villain, but, well, what what else has Rasputin been in? Uh, Anastasia, dude. Okay, yeah. The animated one, where uh, Christopher um, Lloyd did a pretty good, but, you know, it's like, whatever, it's a kid's movie. Yeah. Our enemies think we are. Holy shit, Karate Rasputin? Okay. Karate Rasputin? I mean, you know. I mean, okay. It's starting to win me over. The movie's got at least one thing going for it right now. Yeah. Rasputin doing all kinds of. Yeah, dude. Rasputin is a ninja. (laughs) All right. You know? All right. You know, he's historically, Rasputin was said to have a very large dick, so. Oh, really? I hope at some point. He flops that yeah. bitch out and bitch whips, yeah. dick whips somebody with it. Yeah. That'd be cool. But reputation is what people think of you. Character is what you are. Armed and ready. Armed, yes. Yeah. But ready, we shall see. This 
is called a parachute. It means that one can jump out of a plane safely. Okay. Needs more Rasputin. <laughs> you know? Trailer needed way more Rasputin. Yeah, in fact, jettison all the other characters and, and call just do this Ninja, movie Rasputin. Ninja Rasputin and yeah. you got a fucking movie. Yep. <laughs> right now you have a pretty generic looking movie that we've seen a million times, but with a little pin like you guys didn't obviously didn't know what you had with this Ninja Rasputin idea. No. You stumbled on that. You clearly don't know how, and stupidly. how cool that is. Because you, if you knew the like how good that idea was, you would have instantly said, "We're scrapping the fucking Kingsman movie. This movie is now called Ninja Rasputin." Yep, and that'd been it. But uh, you know, whatever. No such luck, though. What do you give the trailer? You don't like to grade things. I'm That's, gonna give it a C minus. Uh, yeah, I'll do a letter grade. I'll give it a. I'll give it a C, just right. for the promise of Rasputin. But Let's everything see. else. What else we got? Spies in Disguise trailer number three. What? Isn't Is this... a spy already inherently in disguise? Yeah. It, that's kind of the point of a spy. But... Right. It's time to introduce myself. Is that Will Smith's voice, dude? Was that? It sounded like Will Smith. I hope me. it isn't. <laughs> Just three ounces of pressure to the Vegas. That is definitely Will Smith's voice. Oh, God. This, man. It's I... Will Smith's voice coming out of an overly tall Martin Lawrence's body for some yeah. reason. That looks... This character model kind of looks more like his brother Carlton from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air I know, than like, it does what? Will Smith. What the fuck? It's a terrible character design. This is just awful. They're just churning these shit bags out now. <laughs> Dropping these fucking turds every fucking half a year yeah. every six months or so we get another one of these i am not fond of this so far nerve and then look at your boy sleepy night night Ew. man Ugh. sterling a legendary spy who's always dressed to impress Walter Beckett graduated MIT at 15 and works in the Tech Innovations Lab. There are so many gadgets I want to test in the field. For example, the inflatable hug. Kind of a personal protection device I've been developing. This is a... That's the sound of your movie's arrival into theaters right there. <laughs> that long, <laughs> squeaky fart. Oh, I mean, man. look at how awful... This character design is just like look at this. No, no, no. it's 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 actually Why? disturbing to look at. Like his chin is he like has the Lino chin of the century. Yeah. He's got this tiny little over overly tiny mouth. None of the other characters have that, by the way. He's got this weirdly unexpressive flat eyes to to match the uh, unexpressive flat vocal performance we've heard so far he, out of Will Will Smith. I He's mean, on Quaaludes or yeah, something. I don't know what the fuck is he like. He he does not put his personality into anything anymore. I think it's, I think Scientology scrambled his fucking brains. Vile waste of taxpayer dollars. <laughs> this is a val. <laughs> this is a waste of studio dollars. Is what this is. Oh, it's Blue Sky. That makes sense. They're terrible. This is your next objective. None of our agents can get close to him. Have you yet seen a reason for this to exist? No. I've, I've not yet seen a plot point or plot device that hasn't been used a billion times in a billion better movies. So, no. Dangerous. I have something that can help. It's called biodynamic concealment. Imagine if I can make you disappear. Hey, Lance, look at me. Look at you? I can see my butt and your face at the same time. That is so cool. Being a pigeon can make you an even better spy. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. I thought that was just a gag. Then he was going to turn back into him. No, the gag is he becomes a pigeon. Oh, my God. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? What is this? What the f pigeon spies? <laughs> Are you fucking with me now? 
Dude, how many epic, great fucking movie ideas have you and I had? What a fucking waste of I animation. Know. All the money that was spent paying these animators and paying Will Smith. I mean, like, the animation is not top-notch Pixar-level shit, but it's up there. It's trying to be. Yeah, so, I mean, like, wasting it on a stupid fucking concept, like, Will Smith is a pigeon! <laughs> what a profound fucking ways. <laughs> like, this is like an awesome fucking 5,000 or 9,000, whatever the... You remember when Cartman, you know... Was, yeah. You know, and he kept pitching these really terrible stu- ideas to the studios. And like, Ooh, yeah. All the ones he pitched so were like, funnier and better than this. Will though. Smith is that a pigeon <laughs> or something? Man, I wouldn't put this at the feet of Cartman, dude. <laughs> Even Cartman wouldn't come up with this stupid fucking idea. Pigeons are everywhere and nobody notices them. Huh. In fact, pigeons can see in slow motion. <laughs> That was tight. Did no, anyone else see a, um, a, a pigeon? And pigeons can fly up to 92 miles per hour. Don't you throw me off this roof! He'll figure it out. Right, Kimura. Starting. It's about to get messy. Time to go. Sleepy night night. I miss my hands. I gotta, gotta stay. stay. We have different skill sets. This, this is. I thought abandoned hope was later. <laughs> like holy fuck! It keeps going. There's 15 seconds left. We might as well get through it. Great team. Walter, you're squeezing too. Oh. What happens in the submarine stays in the submarine. Well, I'm going to go commit suicide. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Uh, God damn. Um, okay, so uh, F. I'm sure, I, Paul gives it an F as well, I'm sure. That was hideous. What the fuck happened? That was ass. That wasn't even, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. What the fuck? Why does that exist? I want to sit down with whoever conceptualized this piece of shit movie and just be like, hey, why does this exist? By the way, why is the title Spies in Disguise? Like, you could Um, come up with, like, Stool Pigeon or some fucking (laughs) shit. You know? Like, Spies on the Fly. I don't know. Something that, like, actually has, I mean, like, you shouldn't even have done this. Yeah. But you couldn't even come up with like a fucking funny bird pun title. I spy a pigeon. I don't know, dude. Um, yeah, I, it's not the people that made this that I want to do harm to. It's the people that financed it. Mm. Like, I want to go to them and go like, there's no better idea than Will Smith is a pigeon that's been pitched to you at all. Yeah, like you just you're not you're not allowed to have money anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if, that, if that's what you're going to do with it. We're, we're taking your money. You're not allowed. Obviously, you're not being you're not serious about being rich, so we're taking it. No and more. Aren't we supposed to be going into the time where like these studios are hyping up their really big like you know, like blockbuster? Well, kinda... we're starting to get into time. We're starting to get into the dumping ground territory though, too. Well, yeah, that's January. Right, but a lot of these movies we're looking at are coming out in fucking January and February and shit. I don't know when this is coming out. It's probably said. Uh, who cares? Hopefully they cancel it. Yeah. Hopefully they realize how tragically They're fucking. Like, you know what? Let's shit not do. This let's actually not do this. You know. Messy. Time to go. Sleepy night. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, we already watched the Irishman trailer. Um, that movie, by the way, keeps getting accolades. Oh yeah, I mean, it looks really good. Uh, here's an Adam Sandler trailer. <laughs> Want to watch the Adam Sandler trailer? Let's do that. How you doing, Holly? Right. How's it going? How's yeah, it going? Put, put Pesach out. All right, Larry, you're a Jew again. Welcome. Oh, this is called Uncut Gems, by the way. Okay. Ah. I like that I studio, crazy, actually. Risk, yeah. You gamble. And it's about to pay off. Oh, is this like Adam Sandler's like once every decade serious movie? Or yeah, is, where he or is decides there about to be some other kind of shoe that's going to drop here. No, I think I think that you're right. 
I think that this is going to be Adam Sandler's uh, punch drunk love for this decade. Yeah, he just like, because I think Adam Sandler, just to rub it in our faces that he constantly makes total dog shit, he likes to occasionally like do yeah. something good just to be like, I could be doing good things. Yeah, he, but yeah. I'm not. Gonna. You start talking shit, and he's like, Oh yeah, punk. How about some punch drunk love? And then you start, you know, he starts getting shitty again, and then he's like, How's about some rain over me? This is his like. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a legitimate guy. I can keep making these movies. <laughs> yeah. It just it, it, he, the, he has to dip his toe every once in a while in the legitimacy. The pot. sad thing is is that he's a genuinely talented dude. I know. He could be making this type of movies all the time. That's I think that's what I think that's why he does this just to piss us off. Yeah. He's just like I could do effort, but I'm not good. No, because you know what? There's no money in pissing us off. You know why he does? He does it exactly for what we mentioned to lend an air of legitimacy to his, his otherwise absolutely obvious scam of a career. But he'll probably be good in this. Let's see. So I want the Celtics to cover. I want the Celtics halftime. I want Garnett points and rebounds. What do you know? I don't know. I just know. Well, I'll tell you what I know. That's the dumbest fucking bet I ever heard of. I disagree. I disagree, Gary. What is that? I started it. Yeah. Uh, you serious? You're taking my money all over town, placing bets. I'm having very serious second thoughts. Are you serious right now? I know I fucked up. Howard, where's the money right now? Howard, got my money? Howard! Howard! Is it too late? I'm done. That means nothing. It meant nothing. Please. Give me another shot. You like to win, right? This is no different than that. Black Joe Power, nigga. This is my fucking way. You think I'm stupid, Howard? You and your whole fucking family! I heard you free surf at your fucking swimming pool. I, you know how that makes me feel. Never free you think your life is more important than my I don't life. know who said that. I told you about how things were going to go. You like the way things are going now? That's my oh. family. Get the kids out of the house. You having a good time? Yes. This is me. <clears throat> this is how I win. KJ, it's game night. You should be stretching out. Yeah, what is he, a coach? Nah, he's just a fucking crazy ass Jew. Okay. I like it. Yeah, I well, want to. I want to see it. I'm be honest a, with you. It's a slickly cut trailer, and once again, I do think this is our. And uh, once I like, a decade, uh, I was serious. Adam Sandler. Performance. I couldn't really get a firm grasp on his performance. I feel like until he was like. This is me. This is how I win. I'm like, I like his delivery of that line. Yep. So, yeah. all right. Fuck you, Adam Sandler. I'll go see it. Uh, or at least get it on VOD or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah. I'll see it. Looks good. Best to me. trailer we've seen it is. so far today. Uh, I'm going to give it a A minus. Uh, yeah, I'll give it an A minus, too. That sounds about right. <clears throat> I wouldn't have thought the Adam Sandler trailer would be the most fucking it's not promising surprising goddamn me now. thing. He's dropped. He's he's yeah, dropped he enough of these now for me to know he's capable of this type of performance. So I'm not shocked by that. Yeah, I just thought he wasn't. I I just assumed he had totally descended into just like I just do absolute shit now. I'm never gonna make another good movie. Again. No, he's got to do one of these to re-legitimize himself, he's and like, then the next one he drops will be a total unwatchable family turd. My phony baloney movies aren't making enough money anymore. I'll have to do some kind of legitimate thing. Let me get somebody talented to write me a role. That's what it sounds like happened here. Well, great. Awesome. Well, uh, Adam, you're a strange artist, but... <laughs> Whatever. I'll see it. Let's Slickly see. cut trailer, too. El Camino. You haven't watched Breaking Bad, so... Yeah, who I don't cares? know if you would... Uh, get I wouldn't know who anybody is. You wouldn't is. know nothing about what's going on there. Nope. Um, Aeronauts? I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Dark Waters. Looks like the Hulk's in it. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What is that? The Rhythm Section... Knives Out, Daniel Craig movie. Uh, um, do 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 do. Oh, in the tall grass looked interesting. I watched the trailer for that. You already seen it? Yeah, it's a Stephen King story. Yeah, yeah, they're like stuck. I think I saw the trailer too. They're like stuck. 
in yeah. the uh, the grass or whatever. Yeah, it looked interesting, but at first when I was watching it, like the first my first thoughts is the trailer came on. I was like, this looks like a ripoff of Children of the Corn, and then it's like Stephen King. I'm like, oh well, I guess he's allowed to rip himself off. Yeah, he can <laughs> reference himself as many times as he wants. So, uh, let's see. How about uh, I don't know. Got a bunch of trailers here. Um, blah, da, 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 da. Ordinary Love. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Why? That sounds painful. Let's watch that. All right. Do you notice anything different about the soup? Is this a quiz? If I get it right, do I get another bottle of soup? I want you to get it right. Yeah. Subtitles, I didn't, please. I didn't understand a fucking... I said, I did. I no, 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 I was about to take you to a bowl of soup. It's what I did worked. I'm going to get it wrong on purpose, though. For once in your life, can I love it? Yeah, I'm normal. Very normal. What is this? I don't know. I ain't really sure. It's one of these movies. Oh. Well, we need tomato juice. So she's going to die. Uh, one of them is going to get sick or die. Yeah, this has like a real, like, would then tragedy strikes kind oh, of, of vibe going on. I like tomatoes. <laughs> Why don't you just eat more tomatoes? I it's have cancer. <laughs> yeah, just waiting for the old shoe to drop. Cancer. So love is too perfect. Car accident. Oh, there it is. She finds a Heart lump attack. in her breast. Tom, can you come up here? Yep, cancer. <laughs> called it. Fucking called it. It's only a fish. You still have to feed it. Fish? Flush it. Flush you. Cancer. Yeah, cancer. It's called cancer. I won't be there with you. Cancer. Oh man, it's one of these style. Cancer. It suits you. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Too hot. Tea cozy. <laughs> No. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, man, I don't know who goes and sees these kinds of movies, but yeah, whoever like, they are. Let me tell you something. You want you want some tragedy in your life? Just wait, okay? Yeah, it's seriously, gonna happen. man. Like, I don't get these. Like, I want to really look at this heart rent because like, you know she dies at the end. You know Almost that's how certainly. this ends. Almost certainly, it's a cancer movie. She dies. <laughs> the end. The end. She dead. Yeah, no, there's plenty of tragedy in my real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, if you're going to do a tragedy movie, like, I don't know, bring a different vibe to it or some shit, or... I don't know. At like, this, yeah, do some supernatural shit. Like, do it about something that's never actually going to happen to people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or go, like, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind on it. You yeah, know what I mean? Do something cerebral with it. It's just, like... Just this, like, just like slow, just like, unfolding tragedy movie. Yeah, like that what? carries you down the road of tears. It's just like, and then what? And then what? You finish your popcorn and you go back to your tragic fucking life and keep <laughs> experiencing it. Like I, I just don't understand. You know what I mean? I've seen a bunch of these types of movies, and uh, women love them usually. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this is right up there with the. Well, this is you know the romance film basically. Right. It's like the tragic one. You know. Right. They love this kind of story where one there's these two people that are meant for each other and you know some external force or internal force wants to tear them apart but they stay together despite it all. They love that. It's the old Romeo and Juliet cycle just being repeated over and over and over and over again. Liam Neeson. I had this feeling that if I can get through it all would somehow change me. I don't think it has. I don't think I want it to. Ordinary love. God. Coming soon. Yeah, dude. F. Dude, and uh, see, the, these movies are double fucked, too, because no dude wants to bring his chick to this movie. You know what I mean? Because they're going to be a blubbering mess for <laughs> the whole night afterwards. Cancer. So did it just, I don't know, man. Just stop with this shit. Unless there's something that you have to say about cancer that nobody else has to Which say. Which clearly that movie has nothing <laughs> new to say about the subject of cancer. It's just like, I'd rather go watch 50-50 with fucking uh, Seth Rogen and um, yeah. uh, Joseph gordon <clears throat> or some shit. At least there's some, some fun factor to that. What's this countdown trailer? Countdown? Yeah. Where do you see it? 
It's the f- right Count there. Down, countdown. Oh yeah. shit! Some kind of horror movie. Yeah. Let's see if we get something good here. Our phones have become essential. Apps keep track of our schedules. Oh, it's a Paul movie. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's gonna be an anti-technology movie. Yeah. It's cool. Gonna be like your phone is out to get you. Our fitness, our love lives. But what if an app could tell you how long? I got 63 years. 57 years. Before you die, would you want to know? What? Two days? So it's like the ring. This app. But an app. An app. Obviously. My girlfriend said the same thing. This app tells you yeah, how long you can That app live. said she was going to die. And then she did. Whatever. Well, the app was off a little because it looked like she was still alive as she was being pulled and yeah. screaming into the Need to the check void. that app accuracy. Yeah. That was like at least a second, maybe two off. Yeah happening to us i think it's because of this app i need a new phone a new phone new number new service anything else i can help you with no the app goes wherever she goes is that literally the grim reaper standing behind her the countdown app. No, it's just the it's whatever really just boogly that this. The clock. You that know the, what I mean? The boogly. I'm so sick of the boogly. The boogly is coming. <laughs> it's like a Candyman was the first one that I thought. You know what? This is just kind of like a boogly. Boogly. But they've gotten even worse. Like you know what started the real boogly craze was that stupid fucking uh, what is that movie? Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. Because everybody wanted to have that weird creepy dude in their movie, and now it's just every movie. Is the boogly monster. The boogly's coming, Paul. This time he's tied to an app. Remember that one we saw? We saw a trailer for they it, make I think. One, they should make one where uh, every time someone like you rolls their eyes at the boogly, the boogly comes. Ooh, that would be them. good. Yeah. That would at least be fucking like Every time like you're unique. sitting there in front of like... A, they should have a movie where whatever fucking some cynical piece of shit like you or me is watching... And we're like, that ain't scary. Then the thing appears behind us and we're like, ah! It kills us, you know? You know, like sitting there watching fucking Jeepers Keep Creepers 3. It's like, oh, he looks so lame now. And then he just pop bursts through the door and fucking jams a spear through your guts. Like, do I look lame now, motherfucker? Here comes the boogily. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I like it. Anyway, back to this. That's scary, but it seems like it worked on YouTube clowns. This must be We're the YouTube one that downloaded clowns. the app. My sister, she downloaded it. All we need to do is beat the clock by one second. That's not true. That's, we already saw someone do that. Yeah, that chick earlier beat it by more than a second, by my estimation. <coughs> you know, if this app was real, there'd be some kind of like extend your life for three ninety nine kind of bullshit. Right down at the bottom corner, so it wouldn't even be a big deal. Yeah, dude. Why are they doing all this dangerous shit? Right near when they're going to die, if they don't want to die. Yeah, shouldn't they, like, put themselves in, like, a room of pillows and shit? Yeah. Just, like, take whoever, you know, you trust and put them outside the door with a gun or whatever the fuck, and then you just stay in this padded-ass room. Yep. Don't fucking do nothing. Have 911, you know, ready to go in case you have a heart attack or some shit. Yep. And that's how you hedge your bets. I've anything like this before. No, but I've read about it. A lot. Oh, wow, that was a trailer okay. line to this yeah. movie. I've read things. Come with me. It won't overwhelm you. It's the book of utterly destroyed. Wake up. Yo, are you calling my name? Oh, uh, the old switcheroo. Oh, death, there's an app for that. <laughs> wow. Dude, there's an app for that. Woo. I don't think is even a meme anymore. Well, there it is now for the purposes of this trailer. Wow. 
So Well, that kind of looks like it sucks dick. Yep. Um, so I'd say D minus. Yeah. I'd say F. I'll go D minus. It looks like an F. Um, yeah. If if that fucking part was a trailer moment, there's just no, you know. Yeah. I read about it a lot. It looked really bad, but I'll only give an F to something that literally makes me want to fucking jab my eyes. Oh, out. you know what, dude? Have you seen that uh, Joe Jojo Rabbit trailer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that actually looks kind of interesting. Yep. That's a controversial movie. Paul. Yeah, dude. A kid with Hitler as his imaginary friend. I want to see it. Let's see this. Harlan you groaned when you heard Westies. Daniel Craig was in this, so I'm gonna play this one. What is it called? Knives Out. Okay. Smith Corona and built himself into one of the best-selling mystery writers of all time. 30 languages, over 80 million copies sold. Hey, it's that uh, dude that uh, took all of uh, Kevin Spacey's roles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's new Kevin Spacey now. What's his name? Plummer? Christopher Plummer or something like that? I think that's it. You guys fans? I mean, I don't do much fiction reading myself. Big but... fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Who is that guy? Uh, Mr. Blanc is a private investigator of great renown. I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you. You're famous. The night of his demise, the family had gathered to celebrate your father's 85th birthday. <laughs> and your son, Ransom, did he attend as well? Yes, but he left early. I think Linda was upset. Mm, so let's see. <clears throat> Giant cast of famous people. It's going to be world renowned like investigator. Obvious murder mystery setup. Yeah. This better not be no, another goddamn it's what it's gonna murder be. on the Orient Express. No, it, that's exactly what this is. I can tell <laughs> you right now, people are going to start dropping dead. Right. I mean, that, what I'm, I mean I, that's already obviously going to happen. Right. I'm just saying, like, this better not be as bad as that was, because I fucking got all hyped for that trailer, and I was oh. like... I just don't like the plot line being repeated over and over and over again. The sandwich a bunch of people together and murder mystery plot line has been done to death. Yeah, do you think it's over? I, For me, I'm kind of tired of seeing it. Like, this is slickly done, and all these people are really good. Like, that's the chick from fucking... Uh, God damn it. Yeah, God damn it. I remember her. Yeah, that, she was that, that movie. She was great. Hereditary. There oh, you go. okay. Walt would get a little Irish courage in him. He'd get into it with Harlan. What? Richard said what? Are you baiting me, detective? Attempting to be thorough so we can figure out the manner of death. You mean if someone killed him? <laughs> you think one of us, one of his family, Walt, Walt killed him? Mr. Blanc, I just buried my father who committed suicide. Why are you here? I suspect foul play. I have eliminated no suspects. <laughs> This strange accent you're doing there. I suspect fair play. Is he a Civil War general? <laughs> I don't know. I have eliminated no suspects. <laughs> it was uh, kind of a strange voice you put why on. Why don't they just let him be British? Yeah, I mean, like... like this is totally like an upper crusty crowd where a Brit would not be amiss. You right, know what I mean? So, yeah. Why him... force feed him this accent? I do declare <laughs> that uh, I do believe a murder, I say a murder, has taken place here. The South shall rise again. Oh, excuse me. Harlem was cleaning house. Who done it? Everyone in the family has possible motives. Was Harlan planning on cutting off Joni? Did he plan to fire Walter? Is Richard having an affair? That's some heavy-duty conjecture. Funny, Ransom. Oh, Captain, America's, Captain in America's in this? Captain America's in it. Will oh. Up your well, ass. I'm there, Very then. Nice. Ransom. 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 You. You gotta do this more right. often. The family is truly desperate. When people get desperate, the knives come out. This is a twisted web. And we are not finished untangling it. Not yet. Keep waiting for the big reveal. All of them lied to me. There is one guilty party behind it all. You know something. Spill it. Oh my God. Tell me what happened to my grandfather. I think you have something you want to tell me. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis done it. You think it was Jamie Lee? Jamie Lee done it. No doubt in my damn mind. I think it was Captain America what done it. No. 
They're going to want to subvert everybody's expectation that he's a good guy. <clears throat> no. Jamie Lee Curtis did it, dude. She done it. Why? Because she's the old matriarch bitch of the family? No, because she was literally the only one the trailer didn't try to lead me believe did it. That's not true. There was other people. There was other people in the trailer that didn't get a little spotlight. Nope. Yeah? Nope. Jamie Lee Curtis did it. I'm telling you. Bet you a million right. dollars. Million dollars right here on the line. Um, I'm not as over the murder mystery as you are, I think. Um, if it's done well, I'd like to see it. But, man, I'm just really fucking disappointed by the last time I went and saw one of these. So, uh, Well, yeah, but, I mean, that was just particularly that poorly was ass. done um, unnecessary. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. See, I, I might me. be overly cynical on the murder mystery, but I, <laughs> I just feel like it's not just that. I feel like that this type of like who done it plot really needs to be something special. Yeah, like they're obviously it because, doesn't really like, look like they brought anything so done. too new to it. It seems like pretty by the book. They and just put a great cast in there to kind of The accent that they have Daniel Craig putting on is that is a weird, utterly unnecessary. I feel like maybe, you know, I mean it's off putting in the trailer to me. Maybe in the movie I'll start to get into it. I've seen that happen before, but I kind of feel like I'm probably going to be taken out of the movie by that the whole time. Just let him be a Brit. I am Daniel Craig. Yes, yes. Nobody talks like that. Ah, yes, of course. I've narrowed down my list of suspects. <laughs> oh. oh, Black Christmas, right. It's my privilege to Black teach Christmas. you this semester. Enjoy your winter breaks and Merry the Christmas. The remake of Black Christmas. Sup, ladies. Excited oh, tonight? my God. No, no, I was sussing that out in my brain. semester of college ever. Yeah, you remember Black Christmas yeah. back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the, that's the... Jingle Bell. What's that? Okay. Jingle Bell. Another movie that doesn't need to be remade. Jingle Bell's ring and Jingle Bell's ring. Can you take a photo of all of us? Of course. Where's Helena? She was pining back of sodas earlier, but she looked really good. She's... We shouldn't have let her go back by herself. She's fine. Come on, live a little. Icicle stab. Helen hasn't gotten home yet. If I were missing, I'd want you to unleash the bloodhounds and track me down. She was at DKO last night. Still creating problems, huh, right? Hello? Hello? Oh, the old breathe into the phone gag. Break. Could just be a delay of some sort. Snow. My friend is missing. Nine times out of ten, the girl's just with a boyfriend. I will bring you to your knees. So basically like a modern scream. In the house. Christmas scream, Paul. Christmas scream. Got it. Didn't they do a Christmas scream? Didn't didn't one of the screams take place around Christmas time or some shit? Not that or am I, I just... remember, but maybe. I don't mm. know. I I stopped, I tuned out around three, I think. Uh, how do you not notice that there? I know. Uh, I think if dude, if I was, I would notice that. I'm sorry. I feel like I would definitely hey, notice that. Hey, bitch, he's standing right there. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? I mean, is it really that hard to notice that he's there? Whatever. Wow, what a spook out. What the? This can't be real. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to your little This school has 200 years of history. Run! Many sacrifices have been made to keep our traditions alive. Your are always. Has sacrifices have been made? It's, is that young Carrie Elwes there? I'm tired of hiding. I'm tired of running. Go, 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 go! Ho, 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 bitch. You mess with... Ho, 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 bats. That line, you know what? I'm just gonna write that down right now as one of the great all-time movie lines. Oh, dude, look, dude, girl power, TJ. Merry fucking Christmas, 
girl power with the wrong sisters yeah don't fuck with us bitch um december third is that december friday 13th oh, okay Ooh, spooky Found it december friday the 13th to release it on all right damn <clears throat> um c um I'm I like horror movies. I don't know, C plus. Yeah. I I'd see it. I'd watch it. Um it looked like it was shot pretty well. Uh, I just I don't know. Dude. It's pretty uninspired. Blumhouse has turned but... out some good movies and some stinkers, so <clears throat> um about thirty minutes till the show maybe we uh wrap this on up here. Yeah, we can do that. <clears throat> Take a little break before we gotta do the main thing. All right. Thank you guys for watching our little uh, trailer thing. Let us know what you thought. Yep.